Cravada is the most successful play-to-earn game on Avalanche to date. Current daily users total over 1,800 players, and its marketplace has done an astounding $45 million in sales over the past 30 days. However, what makes me so excited about Cravada is not the potential for my digital crabs to increase in value, but rather the passive income I earn every single day by doing next to nothing. Cravada is a play-to-earn idle game, which means that your involvement as a player is very minimal. The point is literally to idle and check the game every few hours. While they do have plans for other game modes including PvP and PvE games, their current idle game allows for an easy way to earn passive income. So, in this video I'm going to share with you my top 3 strategies to earn passive income with Cravada and how you can get started. While there are other ways to make money with Cravada, I've found that these require the least amount of time and effort. Of course, before we get started, I need to mention some disclaimers. I am not a financial advisor. If for some reason you were not aware before, I am a giraffe. So keep in mind that my opinions are just that, opinions, and remember to always do your own research. Remember, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithms. Also, if you want to see more content in the future, make sure to subscribe. Before we get into my main Cravada strategies, I want to give an overview of what Cravada actually is and how the game works. The actual game can be fairly complex and daunting for new users, so I'm going to do my best to explain the most important parts that are necessary to playing and earning income. The first thing to know is that you play Cravada with crabs, which are NFTs. There are an ever-expanding number of crabs that are created by breeding two existing crabs. The initial supply of crabs was created in a special breeding event. Each crab has six different body parts that are assigned a class when the crab is born. The makeup of a crab's body parts and classes determines that crab's stats. Crabs that have all six body parts of the same class are called pure crabs and have the highest stats for their class. The stats that crabs have include hit points, attack, armor, speed, and critical. However, these stats will only be used individually for future games. In the Crabata Idol game, hit points, attack, and armor are grouped together and are called battle points. Speed and critical are grouped together and are called mining points. To play an idle game in Crabata, you need to create a team of three crabs. Crabs can be purchased on the Crabata marketplace. When you start a game, your three crabs are sent on a mining expedition to discover treasure. Mining expeditions take a standard of four hours and reward you with Crabata's governance token, CRA, as well as Crabata's in-game currency, TUS. Going on a mining expedition, however, is perilous, and other teams of three crabs can attack your team. These teams are known as looters and can attack you within the first hour and a half of your mining expedition. If you are mining and a team with equal or lower battle points attacks you, then you automatically win. If the attacking team has higher battle points than your team, then you can reinforce your team with other crabs you own, or by renting out additional crabs from other players in what's called a tavern. At the end of the battle, the team with the higher battle points wins. However, if you are a defender, you still have a chance to win if you have lower battle points. Ultimately, if your team is looted, then you lose around 65% of the rewards you otherwise would have earned. The first strategy I want to talk about is the cheapest to start with and requires the least amount of effort. This strategy involves renting your crabs in the Krabata Tavern. As mentioned earlier, when a looter attacks your mine, you can defend it either with additional crabs you own or with rented crabs from the tavern. Because it's expensive to own crabs, many players will opt to rent out crabs from the tavern. As a general rule, crabs that have higher battle points rent out for more. The highest crab you can rent out, aside from a legendary crab, is a pure bulk crab. This is a crab that has all of its body parts as the bulk class. To search for this kind of crab, go into the marketplace and filter the purity to six and select bulk. To get a sense of how much to list your crab for in the tavern, Look at other listings and filter them by battle points. Find what the lowest prices tend to be for that number of battle points and list it for a similar amount. Each crab can be rented out 12 times every 24 hours, so it's important to make sure your price is low enough that it's renting out for the maximum amount of times. The amount of money you make using this strategy will vary depending on your crab, but it's a good entry level strategy because you only need one crab to get started. My pure bulk crab, which has the highest number of battle points for a normal crab, was earning me around 303 TUS per day after the 10% tavern tax. This equates to around $91 a day or $2,700 a month at current TUS prices. A pure bulk crab currently costs around 6k USD, 
so it would take around 2.5 months to make back your investment at current prices. The second strategy I'm going to talk about has become very common in the Crobotic community. It is called the Max Battle Points team because it involves creating a Crobotic team of three pure bulk crabs. These crabs have the highest battle points possible without using legendary crabs, and because of this they are nearly invincible. If you recall from earlier, a team can only loot your team in a mining expedition if they have more battle points than you. This makes Pure Bulks the perfect team composition for idle gameplay. All you need to do is start your mining expedition and idle for 4 hours. Every 4 hours you check back, claim your rewards, and start another expedition. The max number of times you can do this is 6 times every 24 hours. However, it's usually only possible to get a max of 4 mining expeditions in during a day. If you want more, you can set alarms throughout the night, but remember to be cautious of your sleep. Averaging 4 games per day will net you 1,215 TUS and 15 crowd per day. Keep in mind, crowd re rewards stop for the Krabata Idol game around mid-February, but you will still earn TUS, which make up the majority of the rewards. The current cost of obtaining 3 pure bulk crabs is around 18k USD if you purchase crabs that have been bred 3 times. With current rewards, you can expect to make this back in around 2.5 months. The only caveat is that eventually there may be legendary teams that try to loot max battle point teams. However, I believe this is still a ways off considering there are only 9 legendary crabs with battle points high enough to make a difference. It also may never actually be an issue considering how many max battle point teams there are, so it will be unlikely you will be looted. And, considering that legendary crabs may be better used in the future battle game instead of the idle game. The hardest strategy to wrap your head around, and the one that requires the most upfront capital, is the breeding strategy. In this strategy, you purchase pure bulk, zero breed crabs, and breed them with each other to create more pure bulk crabs. Because crabs cannot breed with their parents or siblings, it's common for people to follow what's called the ABC or ABCD method. With the ABC method, you buy three crabs and you breed two crabs twice. Then you breed your third crab twice with the offspring of one of the first two. Finally, you breed one of your new offspring with the other offspring of the first crab. This process repeats indefinitely. With the ABCD method, you can breed each of your four crabs with each other once for a total of three breeds each. This allows you to breed faster, but it requires more upfront costs. In total, you're looking at around 40k US dollars minimum to start a breeding operation using the ABC method at current prices. The ABCD method will cost even more. It should be noted that over time crab prices may go down due to an increase of supply on the market if there are no new buyers. Also, while pure bulks are the current meta for the Krabata Idol game, they will almost certainly not be for the future battle game. This may cause a decrease in bulk prices in the future. In this video, we've covered three main strategies that can earn you passive income in Krabata's Idol game. Each strategy we covered gets progressively more complex and requires a larger initial investment. However, they all require minimal time and can earn you thousands of dollars per month. Before I close this video, I do want to mention one more way to earn from Krobata's ecosystem. Craw can be staked on the Krobata website to earn amulets. Amulets can be sold in the open market, used to increase the number of teams you can play with, and used to enter a weekly lottery where you can win crabs. However, I don't consider this strategy important enough to feature because the return on investment is much smaller than my featured options. Nonetheless, it is good to be aware of if you do start to accumulate some craw. Overall, I am very bullish on Krabata and believe that the upfront costs to getting into the game are worth it. However, if you're still on the edge, keep an eye out for future game modes that become available and see if they change your mind about joining. Until next time, happy crabbing!